Hey everyone, today we are installing bug nets from Van Essential. So one of the things we hate most when we're out camping is getting flies into our, our van or mosquitoes when we're in a very mosquito-y area. Having bug nets up will allow us to have airflow and uh, you know, be able to use the van in the wild without having to worry about all those bugs inside. Partnering with Van Essential, we ended up getting a bug net for our sliding door and one for the back door. In the packages, they actually come with clamps to help you uh, get started with getting them up. Uh, the rear door had these nice metal clamps. Um, and these are like nice and firm and, and hold pretty tight. Uh, for the front door, they have these little plastic clamps. I've used them in the past and these little plastic tabs will uh, fall off sometimes and can be kind of difficult to use. So I might do my best to just see if I can use these metal clamps from the rear. But otherwise in the package, there is a thank you card, which has a QR code that has uh, YouTube video directions for installing them. So if this video isn't enough for you, hopefully uh, you can jump on there. And uh, there's also some metal tabs that will connect to the metal under the weather stripping on the van. And uh, there's different sizes for when the metal changes thicknesses, but we'll see that as we get into it more. So getting yourself oriented, um, you will see the Van Essential logo pushing out and these uh, clips, the female part of the clip. So that will be all facing out. You'll find a magnetic side on the right and a zippered side on the left. So we're just using these clamps to kind of just hold the uh, bug net in place. And then we're gonna do some adjusting to make sure that the uh, bottom will be at the floor. I will say it is always a little bit easier to have a second person helping hold, but uh, I have two ladders. Katie's gonna help me out as we go. Once you get to this point, uh, you wanna just pull basically sections of the weather stripping out uh, only about a foot at a time. The Ram Pro Masters and the Transits a lot of times will have some uh, kind of gooey uh, grease underneath and using some isopropyl alcohol will help clean that up. Uh, and it's best to probably do before you start getting uh, your bug net in place. I went ahead and cleaned off the uh, metal lip here uh, with the isopropyl alcohol. The flap will go up and underneath the weather stripping. And now these clips just kind of push up into place over the metal. These are the small ones here. And then as you go down, you know, there's certain sections where you'll see there's two pieces um, of metal that are sandwiched together, and that's where you use the thicker clip. And so once you get that clip in, we're wanting to go every 12 inches, 10 inches, somewhere in there uh, for these metal clips. They're basically just holding um, your bug net in place for you to get the weather stripping back up. And one of the main things you want to remember is don't pull too much of your weather stripping down. It makes it very difficult to put it back up into place if too much of it is missing. Uh, so you wanna do about a foot section, foot and a half section at a time, push it back up into place, and then start working by pulling more of it down. As you start working your way around, um, a lot of times having your friend with you will help kind of show where the bottom of it is. And so you want to work around trying to keep everything as square as you possibly can. So having the bottom match the floor line and the top, as you can see, there's this uh, black stripping kind of showing. You wanna to try to keep that as straight as you can. As you work down, the side of the door is mostly just the big clips, but uh, once you get down far enough, there is this plastic piece holding the weather stripping in place and it's just two uh, Phillips screws. So I worked my way down the right side of the door first. I'm going down this left side now. You, you don't want it to be too tight because then the magnet closure won't work very well. So you wanna have some you know, loose fabric in the middle. So as you work down, make sure you're not doing it too tight. So I got all the uh, weather stripping back in place. Uh, I had some issues down here. I had to cut a little piece of our uh, trim off of our cabinet. But once you get that all back in place, uh, you can kind of look through and we kind of have a uh, dip here where it's not necessarily straight all the way across. So I could pull this weather stripping and kind of adjust that a little bit. 
you know, you want to make sure it's not too tight, like I said, and uh, make sure that it opens and closes and the magnets can catch all the way. Um, and once that is the case, uh, you do want to check that, you know, kind of go through all your weather stripping, make sure it's all in place. If it doesn't feel like it is, there's a chance that when you close your door, it won't close all the way. So before I end up cutting all of this excess fabric, I will check that my door closes. If you were to go trim this all and realize you needed to adjust it, it can be very difficult to pull that little bit of fabric back through. So once you feel good with your weather stripping all being in place, your lines being uh, fairly square, uh, you can go ahead and take a razor blade or even a pair of scissors and take off any of the excess that's sticking out. I mean, you mainly want to make sure anything where there's, you know, wheels in the track of the uh, door, you want to get all of this excess off. And so you can pretty much take a razor blade right along the weather stripping and cut off any of that excess. Basically right along. And this stuff cuts pretty nice. Not much for fraying or... There we go. I cut all the uh, excess out all around. And uh, one of the cool features of this, you know, other than uh, the magnetic door here, is on the other side, it can be this. And then you can go ahead and roll this section. up and out of the way so that if you don't need the bug nets you can just store in place all finished with the front so let's move on to the back the main difference um, as you can see is there are privacy curtains uh, there are things to kind of block off the garage and to block up top and then it opens up to the mesh so uh, you know, it'll make sure that you don't have bugs coming in. At the top, there are these spots for the uh, connectors for where the door locks into place. So you just gotta get those centered and then it should be pretty straightforward from there. Worked our way down the edges and uh, just wanna mention on the ProMaster, there is this little black tab. We used uh, this type of tool to just get in there and pop it out. It's just like a pop pin uh, with a little T. Uh, so uh, if you can see that in there and it can just pop right back in. Went a lot better than the sliding door. Um, but now we have let's see, access to the garage through uh, this spot here or you can zip up the center spot and have bug net to the bed. And it just so happened that their bug net, uh, it's only one size fits all, and it was pretty much in line with where our bed is. So got done with uh, that install. Uh, the only thing we have left is we have to trim up the edges for um, any of that excess that's hanging out. Um, already tested the doors and that worked out pretty well. But I just wanted to kind of recap some of the uh, tips that I have for you. Uh, the main thing is, you know, when you're taking your weather stripping off, only go in like foot to two foot sections and try to get the back in before uh, moving on. Uh, for the metal clips, I originally said about every foot. Uh, I found some of mine were more around eight inch marks, so uh, that might be a little bit easier just trying to go every eight inches for that. And as well, as you're starting to go around, make sure you're not, you know, making it too tight. You want to have some, some uh, looseness to it. This one is just zipper, so it's a little bit easier to, to kind of fight that, but you want them to be able to slide nice rather than like, you know, fighting over uh, how firm it is. Uh, and especially for the sliding door, there's magnets that are holding those together. So uh, you wanna make sure that it's not too tight or else those magnets aren't gonna close uh, when your door, um, you know, when you open it and close it, they're just gonna kind of hang away from each other if it's too tight. Well, thanks so much for following along on this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If uh, you do have any questions on the install, please leave them in the comments below and I'll make sure to uh, help you out if I see those. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell to be notified as we post new content. We will see you guys on the next one. Bye.